just say there is Centella. I found a way out through the gate of Horn, but it's locked. So I told him about it, and instead of helping me escape, he wants to keep us all here forever, or until we're turned to gold. He's a monster. You have to let me go so we can kill him and take his key. Sentius, my adopted father. Furies help me. I'll castrate and crucify. I don't know. He said the gods are on his side because they don't want us to escape. Behind me, there's an aqueduct tunnel bringing water from outside the city, so it should lead us out. The only problem is it's barred by a heavy locked gate, and he has the own. I'm going to take that key from around his neck, even if it means I'm done caring about the golden rule. I just want out. Help me. There won't be enough time. Just you and me. There's no time.
It's no use. You're making them. So you survived the system. Probably just a stroke of Fortuna. Don't get cocky. What? Citizen? Ah, you've returned. Me? <laughs> you know, you... Al. Al Worth. The fellow who came... Surely you didn't think you were the only one here. You see, my connection to the portal somehow preserves my memories from one loop to the next. Whether that was Proserpina's intention or a happy accident, but I'm surprised you hadn't noticed. Here I was, thinking you were a little bit sharper than Al was. Or perhaps he was a moralistic fellow. Never once, and because of that fatal flaw, he relived this day many thousands of times. I watched him come through the portal each time, always a little older. And when he finally saw the futility of it all, as you're about to, it broke him. He drank a jug of wine, tied... The next time I awoke, you showed up. But you, you've caught up to where he was. I mean, you've lived through the day, only three extremely... And yet everything you've done... Because there's no escape, except the path that Al took, the path he wrote about on his tablet. What was it? Ah, yes. So, you discovered my secret. So what? Why? Isn't it obvious? Because I have grown attached to all this. My title, my... And as long as this day keeps repeating itself, 
I get to enjoy it all. I have found a way to prolong my life indefinitely, to cheat death. I have become, in effect, as immortal as the gods. Can you honestly say? And why would I agree? You might want to think that through. Oh, understand. The only way you're getting the hand, if I die, I won't be able to open the portal for you again, meaning you'll have created a paradox. That means if I die, you'll be flung back to your original time, having caused the deaths of everyone here, and you'll never be able to undo it. Is that what you want? I certainly hope not. In fact, I want it to go on and on forever. What are you going to do? Now, get out of my villa. On your best behavior, I trust. What now? All right. What now? Not that one full. See, the sent this. Hey, you know. He's one of the better treat Connor. Or oh. I'm what? Really? Now I keep an eye out for Centilla, would you? So you survived the system. Probably just a stroke of Fortuna. Oh, Don't there you go. See you again.
honored to have been elected your magistrate. Magistrate. Yes. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. I'm delighted and deeply honored. What? Hmm. Hmm. Perhaps you're not as silly as those clothes. You know, I may. Some time ago, when he still cared for me, he wrote me a love letter. Now, addressing one's wife by the wrong name is not unheard of among philandering. I confronted him about it, and he stammered. I let it go, eventually, and yet... But... Wait. Oh, aren't you charming? I'm quite sure my husband would see you with impotent rage. It seems our interests are aligned. I imagine knowing his true identity will give me the leverage I need. But first, I need... I want you to bring me some wine. Oh, don't look at me like that. I know this must be hard for you to wrap your sweet little pleb head around. Let me tell you something about Maliolus. He talks a lot about freedom. After all I've done for him, counseling him through his entire life. He said it was for my own good, and that my drinking was unbecoming of a lady, let alone the wife of a man. Tonight, at his victory party, I'm going to get good and merry. And if he tries to discipline me again, I'll threat. I am so... You mean... Aside from the fact that I'm locked in this room because there's barely any left in the city. In fact, there's only one small urn. As so... Excellent. Now, you'll need to pay a visit to that strumpet Aurelia in her tab. I expect you'll have to... F I heard they used to... Thank you. Back again. I do, but I'm afraid it's not for sale. It's the last... Really? Unfortunately for... What's that supposed to be? I do... Everything. Well. Good I All right. I know.
Come and join me by the fire. Welcome, welcome. May I? It's a sincere pleasure. Tell me, what brings you all the way down here? Ah, yes, that c I will tell you everything I know, but first, a request. I have been living down here alone for many... The one thing I long for above all else before I die is a good philosophical argument with someone. Let us find out with this simple question. Have you deduced the name of the god responsible for the golden rule? Excellent. I see you are indeed quite astute. Very few come to that realization before their time in the sun is over. Now, will you join me in a friendly Socratic dialogue? Good enough for me. Now, let me begin with a question. Would you say you know the difference between right and wrong? You are an overthinker, too. We are the same, then. It's probably why I became a philosopher. But if you struggle with right and wrong normally, then down here with the golden rule, surely your struggle can only have become more difficult. Well, that's reassuring. And the truth is, you're not alone. You see, out there in the world, being uncertain about right and wrong was accepted because our mistakes rarely had consequences. So we would tell lies and bend rules and turn a blind eye and rationalize, and yet still find a way to think of ourselves as good people. But under the golden rule, morality mattered. So to navigate this maze, we would have to be certain about the difference between right and wrong. That is an excellent question. And it leads directly to... So let me ask you this. Is there one system of morality which is always perfectly correct? Which you could follow in every situation and always do the right thing? How can that be? Since they all have differences, it follows that in some cases they would offer different conclusions about what... If there is a correct moral code, then wouldn't it follow that only one can be the correct? Ah, you know, I think you'd find an ally in Herodotus, a scribe from among my people who lived some 400 years ago. He told the story of a man named Darius, whose curiosity was piqued when he learned that a certain tribe had the practice of eating their dead. Then he asked the tribe who ate their dead, what would it take for you to burn your dead? Nothing, they replied, equally aghast. From this, Herodotus concluded that custom is king, that right and wrong are merely local ideas which do not survive the journey from one tribe to... I take it you're in agreement? Then let me ask you this. If you visited a tribe where they ate each other, copulated with the dead and drank wine from cups made out of humans, would you still maintain that within such a tribe, there is nothing wrong with... And that's a credit... My point is this. I don't think anyone alive truly knows any hard and fast rules about right and Surely you would agree that there are circumstances where an exception may be made, such as where, for any rule you can imagine, there are countless situations in which... If there is one thing I have observed about rules, it is that virtuous people do not need them, and evil people will all... And so we must accept our limitations, and the sad truth that no human society will ever achieve the utopia. In mathematics, we would call it an asymptote. A line that can be approached, but never reached. Because the only way to create a utopia is with the ever-present threat of force, such as the golden rule. This and no other is the root from which a tyrant springs, 
and life under tyranny. I'm glad to hear. In any case, thank you for whom. You mean, how did I end up? I was a quarrelsome young man. At 19, I left. Back then, I used to. In it became heated. He drew a. I woke up on the banks of the Styx at a campfire opposite Karen. Of course, I tried to. I settled in, made friends, and so I began looking for a place to hide underground. I returned to my friends above. Persuaded them to. They are one and the same. The Rome. My generation was wiped out, turned to gold many years ago. My friends and I were. I think it's safest to assume that if I was to return, Hades would realize that his furies hadn't finished the job, and he'd send them. I fear that if. I'm afraid some from El it has living in darkness is not without and sometimes the greater challenge is the isolate like so many things in life as you ha huh. did we not dis you seek the plaque bear it is a cursed object and I would be happy to give it to you if Kabash I will tell you, but you may find him hostile. To prepare for your encounter, very few know this, but before the Romans came to this city, it was once entirely Greek. The architect... When the Romans came, in typical fashion, they claimed it as their own, built over everything that could be built over, and renamed the thing. Thus, the shrine of Persephone became the shrine of Proserpina. And when they found an obelisk bearing the name Hades, they tore it off and replaced it with Pluto instead. And the city's dwindling Greek residents, witnessing this compulsive Roman conquest, decided to preserve. They gathered their art and valuables, secreted them away through the Temple of Demeter, and hid them. However, there was one thing that always seemed out of place to me, and it is the very. an even older plaque bearing a. I had no idea until years later, when the first... As a result of their deaths, we began to dig catacombs branching off from this cavern. To we extended the tunnel so far that we accidentally discovered another, an even older tunnel, which somebody... Suddenly it made sense why there was an out-of-place Egyptian plaque. You see, we proud Greeks had thought the Romans beasts for stealing and corrupting our heritage. But it turns out this game has been going on much longer. I think it is best you head through the catacombs and follow Kabash's trip. There are certain things you must take this key. I enjoyed our chat. You've returned.
Stop! Do not come any closer. Who are you? I am Kabash. Hmm. And let me guess. Another Greek or Roman come to loot and plunder the resting place of my ancestors, hmm? Hmm. Trousers, boots. Curious here. Hmm. To... Hmm. That is welcome news. You really are... I was planning to return it myself, but... Here, take it and restore the... Now, as for the other plaque... Indeed, I have it right here. I stumbled across a collection of dusty curiosities while searching for a place to hide from the hungry children of Amit. And there it was. You may not. In fact, I am about to destroy it. Because it speaks a treacherous, blasphemous lie. I will tell you. But first, do you know what this place is? Indeed, and I see you know our history. This is the Duat. See what has become of it. I have been down here for weeks, piecing together its story. And here is what I have learned. As Egypt declined and the Greeks had their turn to flourish, their souls came here in great numbers. But instead of adopting our ways, they copied and corrupted them. When they found the obelisk bearing the name Osiris, the true god of the underworld, they desecrated it, removing his name and replacing it with <sighs> Hades. Even the ferryman of the dead, known to my people long before as Kerti, they renamed to Keron. As if that desecration was not enough, they built over this place, using it as the foundation for their own underworld, so that ours was forgotten. Hmm, <laughs> my only solace is that the Greeks then suffered the same fate when the Romans rose to power, renaming Hades to Pluto, and the cycle began anew. It is inscribed with a script I do not recognize, but it is ancient, almost as if it is older than the plaque bearing Osiris's name. But if that is so, it would imply the gods of Egypt are mere imitations too, copied and corrupted from an ancient people who prospered even before us, and that my people did to them what the Greeks and Romans did to us. But this, I cannot accept. I sense a deception. Perhaps it is the work of Set, the usurper, seeking to undermine Osiris once more. You will never know. This work of sacrilege must be destroyed, thrown into the Black Abyss. You are too late. It is done. It could not have gone any other way. It was now the thing of evil you sought is gone. Why are you still here? I am from Rakotis, which you may know as Alexandria, the name of the city in the Greeks. Since the Romans had taken over from the Greeks, I took the... When the fires broke out last year, I tried to help. I gathered terrified locals into my boat and led me on my seventh. I told him his brother would have to save him. I awoke on the... It did not dawn on me until much later that he was... This... I think due to the duel as for the pun... I do not... All I know... Most... Good... You would plan 
plunge into the depths of the Duat with no way. Hmm. How is it possible to feel watched at every When I told you that you would not find a way back up, that was not a prediction. That was a promise. You will die here. I disagree. I warned you against coming down here, against perpetuating this sacrilege. But you persisted. You have undermined and dishonored the true god of the underworld. How did you think this would end, if not with bloodshed? Very well, I will listen. But if I sense deception, or if you further insult my gods, I will carry out my threat. So tell me, why should I let you live after you salvaged this instrument of blasphemy? That may be true of many things, but this is different. If our gods were copied and corrupted from an older civilization, does that not mean they are false? Does that not mean our prayers to our gods all fell on deaf ears because we were not even addressing them by their true names? Hmm. Now that I think about it, my people would sometimes call Osiris the god of many names. Perhaps it is so, but the underworld of my people is so different to this one, and so unlike the way it was described by our priests. 
Many of my ancestors endured great hardship to live good lives so that we may descend to the Duat in death and be judged accordingly. We prepare to have our hearts weighed on Anubis' scales and to swear ourselves innocent of sin before the 42 assessors of Ma'at. And yet, I arrive here to find the Book of the Dead contained only a seed of truth. And now, I ask myself, did our priests steal and embellish the stories of an older people and feed us lies all our lives simply to trick us into obedience? I am not sure I follow. Speak plainly. Now you insult me and all of my ad- You have s ha, Good. I welcome it. You see, the- I can only hope one more tremor will lay waste to the- The many shall suffer for the sins of the one. Sounds sip. All right, let me see. Yulia. Poor bird. I'll go. Oh, and there's... Oh, I see. <gasps> there's just... All right. Ixian turns.
Whatever's in that great temple up there on the bluff. Places to be. Feeling that's Salve, Rufius. I hear your rheumatism has you so riled up you've been harassing Virgil. What? Hello? Hello? Do you like it? But... But... It's mine. Um... Like... Yeah, Gale My friend Han, he said he'd get all up now. No. Uh, Salve. Hmm, a golden bow, just like Apollo and Diana. Sorry, was... No, but I... Really? You're going to give that snake a taste of her own medicine? Ah, so you need to sweep as much as it disgusts me to say this. We were sort of... involved. The thing you need to know about her is this. She's obsessed with money. An ostentatious display of... One more thing, and I feel dirty saying this. She keeps a journal upstairs in her room, beside her bed. If you... May never... Oh, a pre... But, I mean, I've... They... They've got... Really? All right. May Apollo keep you safe. Citizen. Don't understand. It's too. If I backed out. Oh, but we're still in debt. But really? Wait. You'd do that for us? It seems today. Thank you, friend. 
Thank you. I just wish there was some way I could repay you. I'll go and take care of things with... What you ah. Oh. Citizen. It somehow. May Apollo really? keep you safe. That's incredible. Oh, what a relief. I don't know what to say. You don't need to say anything. Just rest up, get your strength back, and we'll celebrate properly when you're ready. I will. Thank you, Alpheus. I will. Oh, you mean my life? Oh, but then my Im I rem. All right. Hmm, a golden ball, just like Apollo and Diana. Shalom. You mean where am I? F but when I was a child, that's where I. Every road, several hours. I. It's strange. A lot of good it did. I don't. Well, haha. <laughs> Obliging, of course. Thanks. Sentius, I suppose. I'd have to be insane to vote for Maliolus after what he did to me. All right. Whatever are you wear of I I thought I told you to get out of <laughs> as if I'll be afraid of you, little man. Cerberus lifts his triple head and lets out his threefold braying. Livia! Would you stop muttering like Madeira over a cauldron? You'll scare away my customers. They follow their trades, imitating their previous lives, but they are ignorant. This again. You're in a world of your own, aren't you? Just that. Back again. I re I'm for Ev Where Good I All right.
Isn't the great temple majestic? A new fa See you at Uh, you're a Sisyphus. Sisyphus was a Greek king a long time ago. He was forced to push a great boulder, forcing him. <sighs> Tantalus was. Oh. Anyway, so I'll tell. Oh, now I'm going. Oh, and. It... Salve again? No. I have ba but. How could you? Well, if you can do that. All right. Shalom. All right. I love your clothes. So, if you stay away from my money.
many shall suffer for the sins of the one. Some? Oh, sounds... Yulia. But how did you... Poor bird. All right, let me... I'll go. Well, since you bring that up, let's cut to the chase. Uh, <laughs> you know what? We don't need to talk about money. It's so But enough about that. I want to know all about you. Tell me, who are you hoping will win today? Ixian turns. Hmm, good answer. Though it's no secret that I'm a Maliola support. Honey, I'm beginning to think Venus herself sent you to me because I love the way you think. Here's an idea. How about we head to the bar? Oh, I see you know how to treat. Here you go. What? What are you talking about? So you <laughs> well, you're nothing. I was just gonna use you. Fear is proof of a degenerate mind. I need to call. Boy, how did you get in? Keep an eye out for Centella, would you? Cerberus lifts his triple head and lets out his threefold praying. 
the many shall suffer for the sins of the one.